so you have complete transparency and you can then enable the voters to decide whether or not their support, their closeness to T, I mean, PKK ambitions is sufficient to warrant their support. Ultimately, however, I think uh, despite all the criticism that is made of the Turkish political system, it has withstood the test of democracy. Uh, and it has been very, very chary about uh, shutting down parties simply because of disagreement with their political views. It's very robust and remarkably, despite all the violence, the government of Turkey has been exceptionally responsive to those voices suggesting that the strictness against uh, Kurdish culture, Kurdish language needs to be relaxed. And it's a process that's ongoing. And I compliment the Turkish democratic system for being able to survive uh, all those who would attack it at its heart uh, and not uh, turn uh, and practice the same kind of anti-democratic uh, methods on those who are its opponents. Thank you. A New World is pleased to be joined this week by a prominent member of the Turkish American community, Oz Binger. Oz was the first Turkish American to run for the U.S. House of Representatives and will be speaking to us today about his insights and positions on the candidates and the state of the 2008 election. Hi and merhaba. I'm Oz Benger. As many of you know, I was the first Turkish American to run for the Congress of the United States of America. The election that takes place on November 4th is one of the most critical elections in recent U.S. history. As we all know, this election is occurring amidst tremendous fear and anxiety about the economy and the major foreign pol policy challenges in the Middle East and elsewhere that this country faces. As the U.S. and world economies enter a recession, concerns about our jobs and our savings have overshadowed the debate on foreign policy between John McCain and Barack Obama and how their respective presidencies would impact U.S.-Turkish relations. On foreign policy, the differences between the two candidates revolve around two major issues. First, Iraq. Obama has pledged to withdraw U.S. troops as soon as possible. McCain, on the other hand, believes that Iraq is central to the war against al-Qaeda and Islamic terrorism, as he calls it, and pledges to keep U.S. troops there as long as necessary. The second difference between the two candidates is that Obama has said that it is important to engage in a dialogue with America's foes, like Iran and Syria. On the other hand, McCain's policies sound more like those of President Bush and he appears less willing to compromise and negotiate. What would each man's election mean for U.S.-Turkish relations? Most Turkish Americans are rightly concerned about how each candidate views the so-called Armenian Genocide Resolution. McCain would appear to be more of a friend to Turkey than Obama, who has stated his support for the recognition of the events of 1915 as genocide. Such a resolution would cause great harm to U.S.-Turkish relations at a time of great instability in the Middle East and Caucasus, and at a time when America needs Turkey to be a friend more than ever. Obama's view is worrisome, but we need to remember that, the, that many other presidents, both Republican and Democrat, have pledged the same support for the Armenian position, only to back down in the face of the practical reality of avoiding serious damage to U.S.-Turkish relations. I am hopeful that President Obama would do the same. However, we cannot rest on hope alone and must continue to press our case on this matter in Congress and before the new administration. There are many other important issues that concern us as Turkish Americans, like a final just resolution on Cyprus and dealing with pe terrorism from the PKK and those who seek to undermine democracy. These festering problems are likely to make Obama recognize the critical importance of Turkey as a force for regional stability and will reinforce the need to strengthen ties between the U.S. and Turkey. There's no evidence to suggest that we Turkish Americans are one-issue voters any more than most Americans. Despite concerns about what Obama might do with regard to the matter of a genocide resolution, I believe Barack Obama is the right man to lead America through these difficult times. Obama's multicultural background mirrors our own, and as a result, I believe he will conduct his foreign policy with more tolerance and understanding of different cultures and religions. Obama will stress diplomacy, which should be a welcome change from the Bush administration's go-it-alone strategy. And I believe that President Obama will restore respect for America again. I believe President Obama will be good for America in solving our economic crisis, dealing with the environment, improving health care and education.
That's why I urge you to join me in voting for Barack Obama for President of the United States of America. An Obama administration will be a new beginning, and it's also going to be a new beginning and opportunity for us as Turkish Americans. Through the activity of various organizations, we have already had a major impact on the political process. Almost $1 million has been contributed by Turkish Americans to congressional candidates in the last year alone. This is an excellent start, but more needs to be done, and not only on the fundraising front. We Turkish Americans are already leaders as educators, artists, lawyers, doctors, teachers, and business people. To affect the policies that we care about as a community, we need to be more active where we live and work. We need to get to know and talk to our representative in Congress. We need to get to know and support local officials who one, may, one day might be a member of Congress. Let these officials know who you are. Get involved with issues that have, are of concern to your community, not just those that concern you as a Turkish American. We must support our own who are running for public office, like Rifat Sivistiolu, who is running for county council in DuPage County outside of Chicago. We need to groom young Turkish Americans to become leaders in their communities with the hope that one day they will play a role in shaping U.S. foreign policy. I want to close by saying that I'm proud to be Turkish and proud to be an American. Thank you and Saul. Thank you for coming on the program, Oz. Um, we appreciate your thoughts and all the contributions you have made as a prominent member of the Turkish American community. We hope that his experiences will inspire our others in the community to run for public office. Our final segment comes from longtime supporters of the Turkish American community. This year is the 85th anniversary of the founding of the Turkish Republic and Turkish American organizations from coast to coast have celebrated the anniversary at their annual Turkish Republic Day events. Two members of Congress, Alcee Hastings representing Florida's 23rd Congressional District and Jeb Henserling representing Texas 5th Congressional District, attended Republic Day dinners in their respective districts. The sponsors of these events were able to record their remarks for the program. Here is Congressman Henseling in Dallas on October 24th. Uh, from ancient antiquity uh, through the Ottoman Empire to the founding of the modern Republic of Turkey, a few nations have such a rich history and such a rich heritage to be contributed to the world and I appreciate the opportunity to celebrate this heritage with you tonight. Now, I couldn't help but note that there are many amongst us uh, who were born in Turkey but chose to immigrate to the United States of America. I want to let you know that as long as I remain in Congress, America will always, always remain a nation of immigrants. I appreciate your entrepreneurship, your passion, your thirst for freedom and opportunity in whatever brought you here and for what you contribute to America. I want to also note as a member of the United States Congress how often that Turkey has been there for America. Uh, from the Korean War uh, through the victory in the Cold War. Uh, there has been a long-standing defense relationship between our two countries uh, that is very, very valuable and one that I will continue to work to strengthen. I want to continue to thank Mr. Ambassador uh, Turkey for its aid and assistance uh, in battling international terrorism, uh, encouraging free trade, helping fight it, uh, international organized crime and the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Now, Turkey remains a very, very valuable ally of the United States of America. Contained here is Old Glory, which has flown over our capital, and in celebration of Republic Day, Mr. Ambassador, I'm going to present this flag to you. That concludes our program for today. We look forward to our next segment of A New World, Politics, Culture, and Personalities with the Turkish American Perspective. Please remember to vote on November 4th. It is your right and responsibility to be involved politically and engage with your elected officials. From Washington, D.C., I am Lincoln McCurdy with the Turkish Coalition of America.